Welcome back to the Wake Man channel. Alright, so it's been a little bit since I've done a video, or I think it's been about a month. In this video, I'm going to do a few things to my boat. Um, right here, I've got a uh, new impeller. I'll open this up. Uh, you're supposed to do this every, it's every 100 hours or, um, or every year. Um, and I did this last year, uh, so I know exactly how to do this. Uh, this is a, a fuel filter water separator um, this one is pretty simple uh, <clears throat> and I've got some tools here to do that it is mid-February when I'm filming this um, so the noise you hear in the background is my uh, little bullet heater down there it's like 41 in, in the garage right now so not too bad the big point I want to make in this video is I was able to get these parts locally um, I did not have to order these online or go to a dealer, uh, my dealer that's, uh, you know, that I bought my boat from that's six hours away or another dealer somewhere else. Um, normally I would have bought those online, I think from nautiqueparts.com, that's where I got the last ones. Um, <clears throat> but I was able to pick these up locally. Really the big thing I wanna share in this video is that there's a new dealer in town. Um, they're a Centurion dealer, uh, and, but they carry PCM parts because Centurion uh, runs PCM engines, so it's really the same engine series that Nautique runs. I also decided to grab a shirt from them. So this is a shirt from that dealer. Uh, it's called Montana Wake Co. I'll turn around for you here. <coughs> so, look at the back of the shirt here. It says Montana Wake Co. This is their, what they call their Montana Vice shirt. I thought it was kind of cool. But I've, I'm just generally happy that there's a dealer in town that has parts uh, that support my boat. Um, and what's cool about them is they have the ability to uh, service or work on pretty much any boat, um, but they have specific experience in boats like mine, wake boats um, and PCM engines. Um, so if I was ever to have a problem, um, they could work on it. Now I'm still under warranty. So if I was to, if I was to need something worked on on this boat, in the next few years. I think I'd have to take it to my original dealer, which is Idaho Water Sports. Um, but um, it's it's good to have the support here. And maybe there's the possibility that the two dealers would work together to get me taken care of so I don't have to go six hours. You know, so uh, I, I don't know if that's possible, but anyways, it's, it's just cool to have um, a new service in town, basically. Uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so, so to get back to working on my impeller, and my fuel water separator. I've actually already done videos on both of these separately. Um, so I'm not gonna do a step-by-step -step or like walk you through the entire thing today. Uh, today it's just mo mainly, it's probably gonna be just some clips of me doing a few steps and maybe some time lapsing, I'm not sure. Um, but I will link the two videos that I've created up above me up here. Um, so that if you need help uh, doing these yourself, uh, you can just go check out those videos. And in those videos, I, I walked through the whole process. In fact, when I replaced the impeller for the first time, um, I wasn't sure how to do it. Uh, so I tried a few things, didn't work out. And uh, I actually went to a different YouTube video um, that helped me out um, to figure out how to take care of it. Um, but now it should be pretty simple today. Um, I just basically have to undo three, I have to take a belt off, uh, undo three bolts, and then should be able to pop out the impeller and then uh, just pop the new one in, put those, put those back on. Um, I remember it being somewhat difficult to get that back on, but I, it was doable. And then this uh, fuel water separator here um, was, was generally, it's pretty easy. It's in a pretty easy location. Um, I do have my filter wrench um, because I might need to get, use that to get it untightened. Um, but yeah, that one's pretty easy. So, so yeah, I'll jump into that here in a second. I do want to give you a heads up. I do have a project on this boat that I'm planning and that will probably be the next video. Um, I might even break it up into two videos, I'm not sure. Um, 
but uh, I do have a, a, an upgrade I've been waiting to do for a while um, and uh, I'm finally gonna do it. But you'll have to tune back in. I hope you'll be able to start making that video within the next maybe three weeks. Uh, up to, might, might be as much as a month, but I hope to be doing it soon. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna get to it. there because the impeller is right on the back of it back there so I'm gonna I'm gonna set the light back in there and I'll probably put the camera back somewhere in there too all right I gotta take this pulley off right here and then I gotta remove this this is the guy the impellers right behind that okay finished up um, as you could probably kind of tell the the impeller is just kind of in an awkward spot but because I've done it before I was able to do that in like a half an hour the impeller by itself um, and most of that time was probably because I had to jump out of the boat and grab a few things um, but yeah anyways uh, got it done and I would say compared to last time it went pretty smoothly um, you saw that the fuel water separator was pretty simple um, but yeah that's all done now um, you can see I got into a hoodie. I was starting to get hot. I'm actually pretty hot right now. I got it up to about 55 degrees in here. So um, when you're working on stuff, uh, that can, can make it hot. Um, I've also, I'm also kind of just getting over a little bit of a cold here. But yeah, that's it for this video. So uh, make sure to stay tuned for my upcoming project. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts on this video or ideas for future videos, please leave those in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and click on that notifications bell so you can be notified of my future videos. I'll see you soon.